Welcome to a 2v2 match in BFME1 Online Battle Arena, this time on the map Vault. And this time we will also get to play with the Rohan faction. Okay, the Rhythm Arc. It's been a long time. We are double Rohan against Gondor Mordor. Not the best matchup for us. I can't tell you that much, you know. Could have been better. Much, much better. But maybe we can pull this off. We will find a way to simply walk into Mordor. So double farm opening into Mary. We have a couple of options, that's why I love Rohan, because Rohan has plenty of options to deal with the situation. But Mordor is pretty powerful on this map, so it's gonna be not easy. I would also tap uh, have fun, but they won't be having fun. <laughs> they, will not, they will not be having fun on that one, actually. Okay, so... The plan is to deal a bit damage, if we can, that would be great. We also need fast horses, so I messed up my equal a little bit at the beginning of the game. Maybe we should have just went for a super fast uh, stable. So the extra two peasants will cost me lots of momentum. Smeagol will barely get away. And by the time I finally reach there, <laughs> you know, I think he's gonna have a lot of stuff upon the field. So it's gonna turn into a 3v3 or 4v4 situation. But remember, he has still the Eye of Sauron. It will make the fights not quite fair for us. So need to be smart about it. And also it kind of panics me that we have the same faction. I mean, Rohan is pretty strong. And having two Eowins upon the field against Mordor, who might go for a Witch King later on, and it will give you the chance to one-shot him with double spear from two Eowins. I mean, we cannot fight this, bro. Like, I will just feed them. So we need to kind of try to stall, and even more Orcs are coming, so it's gonna be a 4v3 situation. I mean, I will just try to kill some workers, I guess, you know? Get some workers, maybe, left and right. Okay, we're killing at least some workers, you know, that's better than nothing. I cannot destroy the lumber mill, that's legit not possible for me. I think my ally is doing pretty okay. Hopefully he won't be needing my help because I will be busy with my own side of the map, you know. Oh my god, Smeagol is chasing me. He's like, sneaky little hobbits. But I will kill your workers, and each of them costs $25, you know what I'm saying? $100, $125, $150. Please attack, dude. Why are you not attacking Mary? What move? Did I not move anywhere? Ah, I think he was talking about this one. But he's going for Haradrims already, boys. I mean, I'm quite panicked. He's having Orcs, uh, Smeagol and Haradrims before my first horse joins the battlefield. Not the perfect situation for us. So we need to be fast. Our is under My ally was actually creeping a lot. He has a level 3 uh, peasant. That is, pe uh, that is pretty powerful. Bro, hit him, I need you. Get finally there, bro. Finally. Okay, let's destroy this Lamir Mill too. I knew it. So I need to put in wedge formation for trampling. So only my front line dies upon the revenge damage. If you put the normal formation, you might take way more damage. I mean, uh, he will still be able to capture the outpost and I cannot do anything about it, actually. He has level 3 black orcs all over the place, so they are going to be pretty strong. And my Rohirrim are badly damaged, so I need to send them back home. I mean, my eco is not looking too hot, boys. That is the problem. Battle 
Okay, I think what I want to do in this situation, in order to commit to the outpost from my opponent, I want to rush Aragorn and prove that Boromir was not right. That Aragorn is indeed capable of simply walking into Mordor. But in order to make him powerful enough, I'm going to do the same situation. Oof. Okay, nice. Beautiful trample. In order to make Aragorn powerful enough, we need to also collect two power points on top of the draft we have to give him the Anduril Sword. Super important. Without the Anduril Sword, he's not going to be able to simply walk into Mordor, you know? So I need to, I'm gonna go for another horse just to clean up those orcs because they are quite annoying. I mean orcs and we are also creeping. We still need a power point. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna feel this one actually. Uh, okay, I need to back. Back, 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 back. Don't, don't die. There is the one goblin archer that's still shooting me now. Super annoying. So I need to finish this, and that's gonna bring me to the Anduril spike. If almost the money for Aragorn too. That's amazing. We need 3.5k. Almost there. Almost there. Just trample. Just trample, bro. Oh, nice. Okay, beautiful. Okay, <laughs> I mean, my ally purchased the outpost next next to them. That's a pro move, actually. I really like that move. Gives us also like a location in which we can get back to and heal up. Okay, I have two power points now. That's beautiful. Immediately unlocking Anduril. Narsil. But it was broken. It has been reforged. Do you guys know the music time? Do you guys like the scene, you know, in which we see the reforged Anduril in the hands of Elrond? He's coming to the tent in the middle of the night and talking to Aragorn. And they were talking about the Offbreakers. And Aragorn was like, uh, why, would, why, why would you want me to go there? They don't follow anybody. And then Elrond was like, they will follow only the King of Gondor. Oh my god, goosebumps, boy. I mean, Lord of the Rings is filled with goosebump situations. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys that Aragorn is capable of walking simply into Mordor. Look, that's the definition of one man army. Oh, I'm gonna steal the money. Give me the money. That's a huge mistake from Gondor to go for Faraboro on a map like this. Here you need horses, otherwise you have zero pressure on the map. I mean, it's great for you if you get into the super late game, then your Boro and Fara is gonna pay off. But remember, when your ally is Mordor, uh, you actually don't need the leadership from Faraboro because we'll have Drummer Troll, Witch King, Darkness, and Eye of Sauron anyway. So your goal is, as Gondor should be to give your ally time so he can't be defeated. Because now he will have a hard time to deal with my Aragorn, you know? I've almost healed also. I'm gonna go for Armory there. Oh, he has Trolls actually. Didn't go for an Asgul. Um, okay. Trolls, you wanna fight this? You wanna fight this? Oh, he's going for my Rohirrim. Smart from him. Very smart from him. He's trying to dodge my Aragorn. But how long can you dodge him though? Take this. One, two. Two more hits and you are done, so bro. Oh my god. I don't know why the Haradrims retargeted my Rohirrim there. I don't know. I think he does know that I have still heal on my Arag for my Aragorn. And still Anduril. And if he wants to keep fighting, I am totally down. Okay, we need to go also for the for the archer range. I'm gonna go for heavy armor and then archer range. Ah, I, I think you are not gonna kill my Aragorn, bro. Nah. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> oh, round three. Okay. What is the definition of madness again? Trying to, trying to do the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. It might look close, but watch this. Boom. Aragorn has such a big sustain when your heal from your spellbook is ready. 
uh, they need to break through his health physically one and a half times, you know? Like two and a half times. Your original health, then the healing from Atelas, then the healing from the spell. Okay, we are ready to go. We have shields and we have also bleeds. So, let's <laughs> simply walk in the Mordor. I'm gonna also buy the outpost there and put some arches inside later on. But let's see what he got. We just killed plenty of trolls. So he can't have too much. It was definitely a mistake from my opponent to commit to Aragorn. In exchange of four trolls, you know. Oh my god, that's gonna hurt him so much, boy. Ooh, he has still trolls up on the field. I have still two trolls, okay. I thought he has only one, but it's okay. We have three Rohirrim. Like, most people get scared here, and they're like, Oh my god, he has two trolls, I need to get away. You know, you don't need to get away, man. We have number advantage, you know. You use... He can only chase two of them. And your third one can still do the work. Do not be scared when you rush with three horses, a castle, and he has, like, one pikeman to defend that, you know. It's not gonna be enough. Oh my god, my ally has even a uh, glorious charge. My ally is actually pogging, you know? He's having a great map control. Yo, I'm always taking a look into the minimap and he is doing a phenomenal job. I need to give him that one actually. He's doing really, really good. I'm gonna use Bleedmaster, go for uh, the Baradur. Aragorn. Elisar. Isildur's heir. I mean, I'm feeling bad for this guy because he he didn't have any help from his ally, you know? Because his ally wasn't ready. You can't be ready for going for Boromir Faramir. So the Mortal player did actually a very good job. I mean, besides the huge mistake trying to fight my Aragorn there, imagine if he had these four or five trolls in the castle for defense, it would be a whole different situation. But my ally is also having like lots of leadership. I think he has also Elma leadership. What a performance by my ally. GG well played guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, you know you can say it. You can now say to Boromir that Aragorn was indeed capable of walking simply into Mordor. I will see you next time. Until then. Take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always. Stay beyond standards. Peace out boys.